cups of flour, one cup of salt, cold water, and a tablespoon, a measuring cup, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, food coloring, as many or as few colors as you like, glitter, anything shiny you want to add to your la la dough, a bowl for each color you want to make. We're making five. A rolling pin or something else you want to roll the dough flat, like a water bottle, a spoon, and random things like buttons for stars or moons or anything else you have around the house. Get creative. First, put flour and salt in a bowl and mix. In another bowl, mix the oil and water. Now, time to stir. Add wet and dry ingredients together. Let's mix it up. Whoa. Whoa. If it's too dry, add a little bit of water. And if it's too wet, add a little bit more flour. There we go. That should be enough. It's starting to turn into dough. This looks so cool. Now it's time to knead the dough. Whoa. This feels so cool. Now split the dough into different bowls. We're doing five colors, so we're gonna put it in five different bowls. Now add your food coloring. We're using gloves so we don't stain our hands. Pink, such a good color. <laughs> we have black for space. We also have yellow, blue, pink, and red. We're using black for space, but you can use any color you like. I'm gonna grab some pink food coloring first. And I'm going to do yellow first. You want two droppers full, or as much as you want. I want the pink to be like super bright, so I'm gonna add maybe three more drops. Ooh, I love your pink. Mine's bright yellow, like dots here. I'm going to do a folding technique. What's the folding technique? It's when you flatten out your dough and then you fold it. It's a taco or a burrito. Now we're going to make our own solar system with loopsy dough. First, roll out the dough for space. I'm gonna use the big rolling pin. <laughs> I want it big. Let's just space it out. <laughs> space it out. <laughs> now it's planet time. I'm going to first do the yellow one. For Comet Starlight, I think I'm going to make a yellow planet and maybe add some details. Dot's planet is going to have the best stargazing in the galaxy. Let's shoot for the moon! I think Bookworm wants to help. Now I'm going to put this blue around the yellow planet. <gasps> I'm doing the same! <laughs> they are sisters. I'm going to add some glitter. Me too. I'm going to add some blue on top of my yellow. And I'll just do white and yellow glitter. First planet, done. Now it's time to put our planets into space. I'm making pink antennas. And I'm gonna add a few buttons to mine. And I'm done with this one. Wait, we need to add more glitter to our solar system. We should put glitter on our space. Whoa, that looks so cool. That looks really pretty. What about some purple? Sure, and I'll add a little bit of white. So we're also gonna use some buttons to use as stars and moons. I got a moon. <laughs> I think we're done. It looks so good. I really like it. For beautiful rainbow clouds in a jar, you'll need a clear see-through container, like a vase or an empty jar or large cup, shaving cream, liquid food coloring, as many colors as you'd like, small cups, for each color you use. An eyedropper, water, and glitter. 
or as we like to call it, pixie dust. First, pour some water into a small cup. Then add a few drops of liquid food coloring. The more color you add, the darker the water gets. This is our rain. I'm going to use pink and purple. I'm going to use yellow and blue. Whoa. You only need one color, but if you want your rain to be multiple colors, be sure to put each color in a separate cup of water. Now I'm going to take my pink and put it in another bowl. I'm going to add yellow. Orange and blue are such good colors together. Next, pour clean water into a jar or a vase. You can use a pitcher or even a big clear cup. I have a vase. Wait! Don't fill it up too much so you can have room for the... Clouds! Grab the shaving cream and swirl it into the cup like this. The clouds sit on top of the water. Pour it directly down and... Whoa! I'm on cloud nine. Oops! Oopsie loopsie! <laughs> Whoa! A little more on this side. I want a huge cloud. <laughs> Me too. Time to use the eyedropper or the teeny tiny spoon to pour in your colors for the rain. I'm going to start with my purple. I'm gonna start with blue. Oh wait, it's coming down! Whoa! Whoa! It's so cool! I think I'm going to poke holes through mine so it can get to the water faster. Good idea, I'm gonna do that a little too. Whoa, mine's really coming down. It looks like a rainstorm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's like hot pink. Yeah. Pink and purple do go together. Yeah. Whoa. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm gonna try my orange. Whoa, they do go well together. Let's do it again! <laughs> Pour some water into a small cup. Then add a few drops of liquid food coloring. The more color you add, the darker the water gets. Ready, go! I'm using my purple first. Whoa. Whoa. Yours looks so cool. Thanks. Yours looks so awesome. I'm putting a lot of glitter. Glitter is the best part. What do you think, Cloud? What do you think, Cloudy? What about you, Poodle? <laughs> Poodle thinks Whoa. this is awesome. Breezy loves the sprinkles. Not sprinkles, glitter! <laughs> <laughs> For Kalala Lidoscopes, we need a toilet paper tube, a sheet of Mylar cardstock, or you can use super shiny foil or mirrored paper glued onto cardstock. Blank paper for the outside of the kaleidoscope. Wrapping paper works too. Something to draw with, like markers, crayons, or glitter pens. Small shiny things, like pieces of ribbon, glitter, sequins, see-through beads, or small buttons. Glue. Clear tape a ruler, and safety scissors. First, we want to add the la la into our Kalala Lidoscope and decorate the outside of the toilet paper tube. You can use wrapping paper or draw on blank paper to make designs in different colors. Cut just enough paper to cover the outside of the toilet paper tube. I'm gonna put this gold flower in the middle and then maybe an orange flower. Now it's time to start gluing everything onto the page. Next, tape the la 
pile of paper onto the tube. Okay. Let's get some tape. You really want to make sure that it's on here very tight. Okay, let's tape the other side on. Let's make the prism for the inside of the kaleidoscope. What's a prism? A prism makes light bounce around. We make a prism by folding a shiny paper into a triangle shape. I'll move these over here. Push the triangle into the toilet paper tube. The Kalala Lidoscope is done! As Jewel would say, pretty perfect. <laughs> but wait, we're not done. Now it's time to create sparkly scenes to look through with our scopes. Now take your blank paper and add beads, ribbon, buttons, and anything else you want to add. So first with glue, I think I'm going to draw a big flower. I'm going to make a big star in the middle with these beads. And then I'll add some of these confetti and buttons all over. I'm going to put a pink flower right in the middle. Now I'm adding the big buttons, and then I'll add some little buttons. Looks amazing! Thanks! Oh, whoa! I added a bunch of gems and confetti onto mine. I have a lot of buttons and a lot of glitter. Whoa! Jewel, look at all the jewels! Oopsie loopsie! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed kaleidoscoping into us today. See you next time on La La Loopsie Let's Create!